Hi kids, I'm sure glad you came back to see me. You know, I hope everybody had a good time last time when we were drawing that caterpillar. Do you know what? I had to go to the workshop right after that and all the elves were sitting there and you know what they were doing? Drawing a caterpillar. <laughs> Remember last time we talked about turning that caterpillar into a butterfly because that's the next stage of an actual caterpillar. So you know what? Why don't we go over to my easel and we'll work on a really good way of doing a monarch butterfly. Okay, let's go. Well, kids, here we are at my easel. And you know what? We're gonna get ready and we're gonna do a monarch butterfly like I said, okay? So I just want you to remember one thing before that we start this. You know, you don't really have to worry about being that exact, because you know what? Everybody draws different. There is no right or wrong way of doing this. And I just want everybody to be really confident and really love what you've done. So whatever you do, you know it's perfect. Don't worry about anything else as long as you're happy with it, okay? So we're going to try to do this the easiest way we can possibly do, and I'm going to ask you all a question right now. Do you know that there are two letter T's in the word butterfly? And that's how we're going to start our butterfly, okay? So I want everybody to take your marker, your black marker, and go up to your paper, and I want everybody to do a T. Just like this, okay? Nice T. And you know you come right across like this. Okay? There's our nice bold T. Okay? And like I said, there are two T's in butterfly. We're going to be spelling that a little bit later. Okay? So... Remember last time we did the caterpillar, we started with that circle for his head. We're going to do that just like that for this guy. Okay, a nice circle. Now, the body of the butterfly is a lot different than the caterpillar. Because you know when they're in their chrysalis and they're changing... Their body gets a little bit longer and it actually goes from that nice bright color to black, okay? So what we're gonna do is rather than do all of our little circles like we did before, we're almost gonna do a box with round corners and we're gonna come down here like this, right about to there and circle that just like that, see that? And we've left a little bit at the bottom here because you know they have a little tail. Okay? All right? So, what I want you to do with this, because you know what? We're always doing stuff with circles, right? And on the head, there's going to be two little circles like this. And then we're going to take our black marker. We're not going to color those little circles in, but what we're, we're going to do is color all around them like this. Okay? Just like that. And remember those tentacles that were on the caterpillar last time? Well, you know what? The butterfly has them too, but they're a little bit longer this time. Okay? and just put a little circle right on the top of those, okay? Now, on the body, let's take our little half circles, and we're just going to do that, just like we did on the body of the caterpillar, all right? And all we're going to do with that is we're just going to color that in just like that. Just go around and around that circle till you've colored all that black in, okay? Here you go. Oh, 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 oh. You know, I can still see a little bit of that caterpillar in there just with the head 
and a little bit of a tail that's left there. What do you say we put a couple more little dots just like this? See these little circles here? How about we just do three, okay? And you know what? Don't color them in, but let's color all around it. Okay, just like this. Yeah. Starting to look like the body of a butterfly now, isn't it, eh? There we go. Okay. Now we have what's left of the caterpillar. Okay, that's what he turned into when he was in that chrysalis. So now we're going to put some wings on him. And you know, a lot of people think the butterflies only have two wings. But you know what? They actually have four wings. Okay, two different sections on each side. And we're going to do that right now, okay? So... At the end of your T, I want you to start to do a little bit of a circle, but I want you to come right down to the base of his body, just like that, okay? And we're going to do the exact same thing on this side. There we go. And now, the second set of wings on the bottom part, we're going to come right off of here. Let's go maybe about, oh, just a little bit farther. You know what? We're going to come right up to that part of the body, right into there, okay? And we're going to go about the same amount over here and right up into like that, right into the bottom part of that body. There we go. So you know what, kids, one of the things that you should remember about a butterfly is their wings are exactly the same on each side, okay? So there's a really good balance between this on a butterfly, all right? So, you know what, they're, I don't know if, do you know the difference between a butterfly and a moth? Butterflies are really colorful. Moths are kind of a gray beige color. They're not quite as they're not quite as nice as a butterfly. The other thing is too, butterflies are always out in the day and moths usually come out at night. Okay? That's the difference between a butterfly and a moth. Just like a moth is usually in a cocoon, a butterfly, especially the monarch, is in a chrysalis. Okay, and that's where he turns into the monarch. Okay, so on this, monarchs are usually black and orange. Buddy, <laughs> I just noticed you sitting there with my orange. Are you getting excited about this? You were waiting for me to do this monarch all day. You know what? We were talking this afternoon, and he said, You know what, Santa? I'd like to be there because a monarch butterfly is my favorite butterfly, too. And look at him. He's here all ready to hand me my colors. Okay, so on the top part of these wings, let's go across here with a nice little black line. It'll just come right down like that, okay? Same on this side because remember what I said. The wings are the same on each side. Just like we did on the body. Let's do a couple little circles here, okay? And we'll color all this in black that we just did there, okay? There we go. I'm gonna go all black, and we're just gonna leave those little circles. So we got a little bit. My marker's running out. Boy, I've been doing a lot of drawing lately, you know that? There we go. So the same type of thing, we're gonna take down into the bottom here. We're just gonna, just gonna do this to that, okay? Just thicken up the bottom a little bit there. There we go. So yours should be like a nice dark black there. 
Okay, so there we have the black on the Monarch butterfly. So what we're gonna do next, Buddy's got my orange waiting for me. What do you say we start putting a little bit of orange in that just for some color, okay? Can I, can I have that right now, buddy? Thank you. Give it up. Come on, buddy. Buddy, this is no time to be. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Buddy gets a little stubborn once in a while, you know that? Okay, buddy, we're going to start putting some orange in here. But you know what? We're not going to color this whole area orange. We're just going to kind of come in just from the edges like this, okay? There we go. Don't put quite so much in the bottom half. Remember, do the same thing on the other side. There we go. Look at that. You know what? It's already starting to look good. Starting to look just like a monarch, all right? So kids, you know, one thing about the monarch butterfly, you know how hazard signs, like if you're not supposed to touch something, the signs are always in nice bright colors? Well, a lot of people don't know this, but monarch butterflies are a nice bright color because they're not really good if something like a cat or a bird or something goes after one of these and maybe tries to bite it or something like that because you know what? Monarch butterflies are actually poisonous. And you know what? They wouldn't really kill an animal, but they'd make it really sick. So that's why they're a bright color, just so everybody stays away from them. But I'm telling you, they're one of the most beautiful butterflies out there. So let's add some yellow now, okay? We're just going to do this. We're going to throw some yellow in there. There we go. And it doesn't matter if you overlap into the orange because it's just a really nice blend, isn't it? Okay, here we go. Okay, now we got the colors down. Now there's one thing you'll notice on a monarch is it has little lines that come down through into the wings and it looks it, it's really nice it really breaks things up but you know what you can do this however you want because what i like to do is just come down like this maybe across like that but take one in from the side and maybe even just one in like that but just remember when you do this always try to duplicate it okay because we always want these to look the same, don't we? There we go. And you know what? Let's go down like this, under this part. Just like this. Maybe this one's going to be a little more simpler, okay? We go right across like that. Down like that. And there we have our monarch butterfly. Now, what I'm going to tell you about this, and you might be a little bit surprised about all of this. Do you know that that is a girl butterfly? Did you know that? And you know how I can tell? I'm going to show you. Now, if you want that to be your girl butterfly, you just leave that right alone, okay? You're all done, your, your monarch butterfly, and that is a girl. Do you know what the difference is? And it's so funny because a boy, I'm now gonna turn this into a boy butterfly by putting a little dot there and a little dot there. That's the only difference when you're looking at a monarch that you can tell the difference between a boy monarch and a girl monarch. And the reason they got the name monarch is because they call them the king and the queen of the butterflies. Okay? 
So now I think what we're going to do is spell butterfly. Does everybody know how to spell butterfly? How many letters are in butterfly? B U T T E R F L Y. <laughs> Nine letters. Okay, so there's the first line for the B, and then we're just going to go right across with nine different letters. Okay, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, 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 oh. You know what? I think I might do it in a different color. What do you say we do it in the orange? All right. Let's do our letters in orange, okay? Just to suit the butterfly. Okay, so first we're gonna start with a B. Okay, that's a capital B. B T. So it's B U T T. Remember at the start I said there's two T's just like our butterfly. Okay? And an E and an R. Now you know what, kids? When you get that far, that spells butter, as in butterfly. Okay? I'm getting hungry now. Okay, so fly. F L Y. Now we have our word butterfly. And you know what I was thinking? Why don't we just make it look like he flew in there? What do you think, kids? Okay. You think we make it look like the butterfly flew right into our picture. And you know what, kids? We should really make sure that we don't destroy the milkweed because that's what monarch butterflies, that's, that's how they come to be. They like to start right on the bottom of a milkweed plant, okay? But you know, there are other things a lot of people We'll put butterfly trees in their gardens and things like that that will attract butterflies. But we don't want to lose the monarch butterfly because it is so beautiful. Okay? So, one of the big things that I always tell everybody is once you get your drawing done, and I think we're done, does everybody remember? Is that a boy or a girl? That's a boy because of the two dots on each side of his wings, okay? And remember, every time you do a drawing, you make sure you sign it, okay? There you go. There's our monarch butterfly. <laughs> Well, kids, you know, that means I've got to go build some toys. So I just want to remind you, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. And just remember one thing, always be kind and always believe in yourself, okay? Be good. Till next time. Ho, 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 ho.